please listen. This world is falling apart. People are dying, starving, killing, and selling their own hearts. I mean, this is horrible, and it is totally wrong at first, but there is something else, and maybe it's even worse. Because somehow, some people haven't even got a good reason to live. They just want to have own truths for their existence and why everything is as it is. They are so deluded and filled with lies and they believe in false miracles. They think that they are God but also say that we're just animals. No one knows what is really worth it. I mean, we get upset if someone destroys an eagle's egg or kills a lion, but we don't seem to care if thousands of babies are getting aborted every single day. While people are chasing money, fame and power, not living for a purpose, but living for the hour, living for the joy and happiness, but when they are confronted with pain, they are quick to hide it with lust, materialistic things and fame. I mean, I used to be this way too. I tried chasing everything that I could earn and do every single thing that I could do just to feel satisfied just so that I knew that what I was doing was something that gave me a greater value but I have no value in the eyes of this world because if I listen to what this world tells me I am just another collection of chemicals that is chasing the only thing that I see but the only thing that I see is pain I see sorrow I see people filled with fear and people that are hoping that they might live tomorrow I see people that have no hope and people that follow the false leaders of this world but they are also filled with this nonsense that humans have evolved from primates that everything originated from some sort of explosion but if I look at an explosion I see destruction I see people dying and families facing abduction this world is falling and it will fall even deeper I know because prophecies that were written say so that this generation will be filled with unrighteousness and it will only grow but we can slow it down because there is hope and no it doesn't come from this world this is what I know it only comes from God and God tells us this if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves pray and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven forgive their sins and heal their land Luke, there is hope and peace in abundance but only with God because this world is losing its brightness but God is gracious no he's nothing like us we are filled with violence while he is overflowing with kindness he gave it all because he knew that you are priceless made in his likeness but without him you are lifeless so he showed the brightness of his highness when he took the life of himself and he hanged there in silence but he made a minus of death its triumph because he rose from the grave like he won the right because he's like a lion that can face the trouble of all sizes but when you stay quiet he can't help you and trust me you need him because one thing is for certain you will die and this world tells you that that is the end but it is not it is the beginning because that is the moment that eternity will be standing right in front of you and you will be judged by the way that you were living and God will judge righteously according to his law that basically says every human being is flawed compared to him so that means you'll end up in hell and I would hate this to happen to you because you don't have to see God made a way to escape this there is only one way to enter heaven because there is only one entrance and that is Jesus only through Jesus we can be made righteous he doesn't want you to be mindless he wants you to give your life to him and start living for his purpose because in his eyes you are sinless when you give yourself to him and when you do you don't have to worry about anything because his love will always win and that is the truth that I stand in now he doesn't promise that your life will become easy when you follow him because there will still be pain struggles and sin 
But he does promise that he will provide the strength you need to get you through the fear, persecution, struggle, darkness, sickness, regret, doubt, pain, weakness, loneliness and addiction that you might find yourself in. So let the name of God be glorified throughout all generations, the young ones, the elders, the people of all ages, the people throughout all the nations, Americans, Europeans, Australians, Africans and Asians, everyone, it don't matter who you are, because God sees your heart and he can heal your scars so that your past is lost, for he paid the cost through the work on the cross so you can make a new start.